From his clean slate initiative resetting the entire DC universe to adding lesser known characters like Mr. Terrific and Booster Gold, here are all the DC spin-offs James Gunn has confirmed as canon. Spin-offs and reboots in the entertainment biz are a double-edged sword. On the one hand, they let studios uncover the backgrounds and stories of your beloved characters, giving you a more profound understanding of your favorite heroes and villains. But on the other side, the overload of spin-offs and reboots can affect continuity and sacredness because now you've got multiple versions of a character popping up in different movies, TV shows, and even comic book storylines. So it becomes hard to give fans a clear and familiar version of the character each time, especially when you throw in the concept of a multiverse. That's why it makes perfect sense for Gunn to just get rid of the old DCU and start a new one, because this way there are no plot holes or continuity errors that affect any of the new films, and filmmakers can easily present their versions of these iconic characters without any worries. That said, let's take a look at all the characters confirmed to be part of the new DCU by Gunn himself, starting off with the one that sets the stage for this new universe itself, Superman Legacy. Gunn confirmed that this 2025 flick will mark the beginning of a brand new canon for the DCU. And he's not just breaking the news either, because he'll also be taking the helm as the film's writer and director. When a fan told him that they were confused about the new DCU's continuity, Gunn responded by telling them that all of the DCU movies and the new canon would be getting a fresh start with Superman Legacy. He's determined to breathe new life into DC's poster child, which would also explain why he cast David Korenzwet in the role of Superman, a younger and even more optimistic version of the Man of Steel than we've seen before, even compared to the old version played by the iconic Henry Cavill. Superman's not the only iconic DC character that's getting recast though, because even the Dark Knight himself is getting a new face. You heard me right, in the upcoming The Brave and the Bold flick, you're gonna see a brand new actor donning the iconic cape and cowl. In the original DC canon, not only did we have the awesome Ben Affleck rocking the screen as Bruce Wayne, we also got to see Robert Pattinson taking on the role in Matt Reeves' version of the character, who's been confirmed to be part of the DC Elseworlds project. That means you can expect him to continue as the Dark Knight in his own separate universe, separate from Gunn's version, which is being directed by none other than Andy Muschietti, the director of the recent The Flash. As for the deets on the film itself, the only thing I have to go off of is what Gunn himself said, describing the film as a strange father and son story. This means we might also get a live-action version of the boy wonder himself, Robin. And if you're wondering which one, then look no further because Muschietti's confirmed that Damian Wayne, the legendary son of Bruce Wayne and Talia Al Ghul, is making his live-action debut in The Brave and the Bold as well. Now don't expect this father and son duo to have a picture-perfect relationship though. Despite becoming the Robin to his dad's Batman, Bruce and Damien's dynamic was anything but smooth sailing. They had their fair share of trouble connecting, and let's just say there were plenty of bumps in the road, though that's what makes their story so intriguing and relatable. Both Gunn and Muschietti have yet to reveal the specific storyline the film will be exploring, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be a game changer. This film's breaking new ground in the DC Universe, giving fans the first ever live-action glimpse of the father and son dynamic between Bruce and Damien. But of course, when you talk about Superman and Batman, you can't ignore the third person in the DC trip. That's right, I'm talking about Wonder Woman. The superheroine's gonna be starring in her own TV show, Paradise Lost. Gunn's partner in crime, Peter Safran, revealed the show's gonna be a prequel series set in Wonder Woman's homeland, Temescara. And he also mentioned that the show takes inspiration from Game of Thrones, so expect a lot of blood, death, and hopefully dragons too. Still, that doesn't mean the new universe is going to be filled only with new faces. Just take a look at Amanda Waller. The incredible Viola Davis knocked our socks off with her portrayal of the character in Suicide Squad, but that's not the only film she's appeared in, as she's popped up in Gunn's version of The Suicide Squad, Black Adam, and even Season 1 of Peacemaker. The new DCU has some big plans for Waller, and Davis is set to take center stage with the TV series, Waller, which revolves around the character herself, serving as a teaser for the main course, Superman Legacy. Gunn confirmed this during his January announcement, so you know it's legit. When you talk about Waller, you're talking about a character with some serious connections in the DC Comics world, with ties to big-name teams like the Suicide Squad, the Justice Society of America, and even Task Force X. 
So if she's making a comeback, you can bet she'll be making her way into several of the upcoming DC Studios projects. Waller's return also confirms the return of other beloved characters under her jurisdiction, but the one fans are looking forward to the most is none other than Peacemaker. That's right, John Cena's coming back for more action as Christopher Chris Smith in Peacemaker Season 2. After his epic debut in The Suicide Squad and headlining his own series, are you really surprised that they brought him back for more? Gunn took to Twitter to confirm that Cena will be reprising his role as Peacemaker in Season 2, though he didn't give an exact release date for the season either, probably because he's fully focused on working his magic on the upcoming Superman flick. Can't blame the guy for making sure the Man of Steel's grand return is nothing short of legendary. But here's the real kicker. With the DCU canon hitting the reset button, everything in season one of the show must have been altered, leaving fans wondering what sort of shenanigans Peacemaker will be up to in this second season. The new DCU canon isn't just recycling old characters though, because they're also adding a bunch of new faces to the mix, such as Mr. Terrific. Eddie Gathegi will make his debut as the lesser known character in the upcoming Superman flick, and he's not the only underrated hero that's joining the DCU roster, because joining him on the action-packed journey is none other than Nathan Fillion as Guy Gardner, alongside Isabella Merced as Hawkgirl. While I don't have all the details yet, it's safe to assume that Eddie's Mr. Terrific will be none other than Michael Holt, the Olympic-level athlete with a genius-level intellect from the DC Comics. And while he may not have any innate superpowers, he's got some seriously slick tech up his sleeve in the form of his T-spheres, which he uses to take down bad guys, perform some nifty maneuvers, and simply be an all-around superhero whiz. But Mr. Terrific's not just any hero, he's also a prominent member of the Justice Society in the comics, pretty much being in the VIP section of the Superhero Club. With that kind of reputation, Eddie could very well have a bright future in the DC Universe after his debut in Superman Legacy. Mr. Terrific isn't the only tech-based hero in the new DC slate either, since we've also got characters like Booster Gold making his mark on the roster. Yet another character announced in Gunn's January 2023 conference, his inclusion in the DCU is a dream come true for all the five Booster Gold fans out there who've been eagerly waiting to see him in action on the big screen. All jokes aside, Booster Gold's getting his very own show on Max, and according to Gunn, it's going to be an outright comedy. So you can expect the series to take a light-hearted approach to its story, almost like what the Peacemaker series gave us. And you can bet Finn's gonna be using his Marvel experience, more specifically the Iron Man-related parts of his tenure, to give fans the perfect version of this underrated character. Still, nobody knows who'll strap on the futuristic suit to play the character in all his glory. But you know what? That just adds to the excitement and mystery of it all. And since Booster Gold has ties to Argus and the Justice League, you can bet this quirky hero is going to be an exciting addition to the ever-expanding DC universe. So there you have it. From adding lesser-known characters like Mr. Terrific and Booster Gold, to his clean slate initiative resetting the entire DC universe, those were all the DC spin-offs James Gunn has confirmed as canon.